Oh, good day. My name is John, and this is number 10 in a series of videos that I'm doing on these little Chinese diesel air heaters. Now, breaking from the past videos, the subject of this video is going to be basically the, the special tools that I use, and I've been getting a lot of ribbing for the, from them uh, from different friends and, and mates. So this video is going to be a little bit of a silly tongue-in-cheek video. So if you're into serious videos, please uh, miss this one and come back for number 11, which will be more of a serious video about the uh, fuel issues in the starting system. Okay, now to my special tools. Well, a few of the, few of the girlfriends have been giving me a bit of, bit of grief over this, particularly Barb and Helen, about my, um, what they call my cheese fork. And they're saying, you know, what am I doing using a cheese fork, a black tie dinner party cheese fork, to work on a heater? Well, there you go. I've, I've copied this cheese fork, um, and it works very well in getting the glow plug out. Now, being, um, being single and live alone now, I don't have any issues, so I can I can use this now for both working on the heater and and for um, having cheese. Right <laughs> now, okay, being serious now. The issue that you have is when you want to get the glow plug out. If if you don't have um, the facilities to make yourself one of these slotted socket spanners. You can get this out with here, but one trouble, if you have a spanner like this with, with the high cheeks here, they will sometimes rub on the, on the corner there, so you, you can't get the spanner in. I don't know if you can quite see that. And if you go it this way, It hits on the it hits on the bottom here, but if you take the edges off the spanner, then you can easily get in here and crack the glow plate and get it out. So, as such, now remember when you take the glow plate out, you just crack it, and then you can undo it nice and gently. Now, the next bit of grief I'm getting is I'm getting from my screen remover. And some people, because I left the tag on here, some people are saying, oh, is that so you can remember it? Well, okay, look, I'm a senior citizen now, and I, and I do, I probably need to remember, and I, and I write on here, um, you know, the old uh, ditty from, from you know, when you're a kid is lefty loosey, righty tidy. So you know that uh, which way to go to loosen and which way to go for, to tighten. But in all seriousness, it's just the, it's just the um, I suppose, uh, the barcode and pricing thing from it. But I find this is really the easiest way to get the glow plug screen out. Some people um, say you can get it out with a, with a, a little hook but I've never found that successful, particularly if you've got a lot of um, carbon in it. Whereas with this, remember, righty tidy, remember that? Lefty loosey, righty tidy. See, I can read it, I can read it on the tag here, you know. <laughs> so, wriggle it, and out will come the screen. Now if it's got a lot of carbon, you'll need to rig it a little bit. There's your screen. Right, the, the next one, and probably the one I've got, I got the most ribbing from, was my uh, screen inserter. Right, now 
This is a very, very special tool, I can tell you this. It's a multi-purpose tool. It's a 200 millimeter long lead lined, or sorry, lead, co lead core rubber capped screen inserter. Now, in the past, these were, these were a very expensive item and difficult to come by. But just as the Chinese have copied and cloned these little diesel heaters, and now instead of four and a half thousand dollars, you can buy them for, you know, $150, $200. The same with these special multi-purpose inserters. Now, this is a HB model. The 2B models are just as good. But now the Chinese have cloned and copied these as well. And you can buy these now in any, um, oh, I suppose, stationery store, supermarket, or um, bookstore. So to insert the screen, you put it over the end here. Now one thing I forgot, now I'm being serious now, one thing I forgot in the last video, on the screens you'll see spot weld marks here. They go away from the, the fuel, um, the air in, inlet side. So in here you've got the air inlet on this side. So what you want in the fuel coming in, you want the fuel to come here, come on to this side, not hit on this side. So try and put the spot welds on the away side. So we just put it in like that, put it in here and insert the screen and all done. Okay, being serious now, I'll just take this screen out again because I forgot to um, mention something in the last video. So if you do this as, as a um, as an in-situ sort of uh, application, so you're cleaning the screen. What you also have to do in here, there's that little hole. So you'll need to make yourself a tool like this. This is um, a bit of welding rod that I've, I've bent on the end. You can't use, say, coat hanger wire because it's too thick. Remember the hole, the breathing hole in here for the igniter is only three millimeters, you know, which is about the size of a matchstick. So you need a, a little pick like this. So what you have to do is you get in here, I don't know if you can see that in there, but you get in there and clean clean that hole out in there. So it's in and away, and you'll need to get rid of any carbon that builds up in here. So if you've got carbon in this little hole in here, or carbon in the screen, then the heater won't light. The, the two reasons that you get bad carbon in here, one is, is the setup is wrong. So you know, you've got restrictions in the breather and the exhaust. But the other reason that you get you get carbon in the in the screen and, and what have you and in the in the little breather hole there is using the wrong type of fuel. Now if you put oil in it, yes you can you can burn canola oil and you can burn vegetable oil and you can burn whale oil and you can probably even burn snake or alligator oil, maybe even toad oil. But any burning of oil leaves large amounts of carbon residue. So by, by doing all those things, you're setting yourself up for problems later on. And the most common problem is this carbon and soot build up here. So if you do get, now you, will go, you are going to get soot over a period of time, which means that you have to burn, take this little, this little screen out. <coughs> Look there. I suppose they're, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 cents, depending where you buy them. And, you know, you can buy them in lots of five or 10, so you can buy a few, and then when you do the screen, you just pull it out and throw it away. If you've got a lot of bad carbon in here, you'll actually have to destroy the screen getting it out. It won't come out easily, and you'll have to pick away at it at the edges and, and pull it out. If it's not so bad, and you can get hold of some map gas, then you can burn the carbon off by doing that. Anyway, that was a bit of, bit of fun. <laughs> I'll get serious next time, so thanks for watching.